New at 10, the changing landscape of college sports. Yeah, St. Louis University announces a new effort to help its student athletes cash in. Here's Fox 2's Andy Banker. So yeah, in a way, timing is everything, and this may seem like a reaction to recent events involving the St. Louis U Billikens men's basketball team, but the athletic director says that's just not true. Six of 11 from three-point territory, Collins finishes. Among all St. Louis U student athletes, perhaps one name stands out. I know Yuri Collins, yeah. He's the St. Louis kid who stayed home to play college ball, and he has become one of the top players in the country at his position. He's just announced he may transfer to another school for next season. Experts say it's likely a business decision. Vegas is one of like my favorite places to visit. More and more businesses are turning to social media influencers to promote whatever the business is they may be selling. For instance, people with large social media followings can get paid to post about travels to Las Vegas, what they eat there, what they wear there. That can go for St. Louis too, and the NCAA now allows college athletes to cash in on their NIL, name, image, and likeness. St. Louis U has just partnered with a company called Influencer to set up what's called the Billiken Exchange, an online portal where companies can connect with athletes and pay them for their NIL. It's a big part of like the school community. Like yeah. you think of SLU, you think of going to the basketball games. I like that they're trying to make it more engaging. I think. I don't know, I like the idea that it's out there because I feel like a lot of people don't really know about it unless they are student athletes. There's no question. People know the brand of a Billiken. They know the brand of a Billiken student. Cool. You can go online, you can, you can apply to get your company engaged right away. You get approved and you can immediately connect with Billiken student athletes. He says the portal has been in the works since the start of the new year. Once the athletic department approves a company's application, the university is out of the picture and then it's just business. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.